of longer than the span, the area you get triangle. Okay, all the three cases: uh, shear force, uh, bending moment, and uh, um, positive and negative shear force and bending moment. You get the shape. Uh, triangle only but in the case of uh, shorter than the span the area is trapezoidal because it curved it is only covers the small distance it doesn't cover the full distance so you get trapezoidal shape in all the cases both uh, uh, shear force as well as bending moment that is the difference you have to see okay next we will see one more problem the same thing i'll just explain uh, an uniformly distributed load of intensity 60 kN per meter and length 5 meter moves on a garter of span 16 meter find the maximum positive and negative shear force and maximum bending moment at a section 6 meter from the left end so here uh, the span is uh, 16 meter and udl length is 5 meter so it is smaller um, shorter than the span udl is shorter than the span so go to that case what you have to do first you have to see this distance why because uh, shear force and negative shear force and positive shear force condition is same but in the case of uh bending moment that uh, section divides the load in the same ratio as it divides the span so for that you have to find what is cx and xt i use this relationship and i will get cx is 1.88 so total it is 5 meter distance so this distance is 5 minus 1.88 3.12 next so negative shear force it is only till 5 meter length so to full it is uh, ab of span 16 meter so section is at a distance of 6 so x is 6 so this distance xb is 10 now negative shear force how to draw this is like this negative shear force till 5 meter total it is 6 so uh, what is that uh, so here uh, 5 remaining is 1 meter so i name it as c next what about positive shear force that is uh, till here it is 5 meter so total it is 10 meter so remaining is also 5 i name it as d next bending moment as i said already we calculated this so just write that this is c c to x then x to d so then draw the uh, diagram ILD uh, so negative portion left portion is negative AX then XP is right portion positive then the same thing bending moment <coughs> extend this to here and here now you have to find what is at C what is at X and what is at D for both shear force and bending moment draw ILD for uh, shear force first that is minus Y by L find at different points first if you consider left portion A x this point at a y is equal to 0 so fine at c y is equal to 1 find what is that then at x y is equal to 6 find what is that next go to the right portion this portion at x what is y then at d what is y now here till here it is 6 6 plus 5 it is 11 so full distance at b that is 16 so you get these points next go to the bending moment so what is that first consider left portion ax so what is bending moment at x rb into this distance that is 10 rb into 10 so rb is y by l find at different points first point at a what is y y is equal to 0 next point at c this total distance is uh, 6 meter here to here 6 meter so 6 minus 1.88 that is 4.12 so at c 4.12 so what is mc then at x y is equal to 6 then consider right portion Bending moment at x so unit load is in between x and b so i consider bending moment this side so bending moment at x is r a into this distance that is 6 so r a into 6 r a is uh, l minus y divided by l into 6 okay so at x so first point here at x y is equal to uh, 6 so um, substitute in this equation you get uh, this answer next at D so this 
uh, till here it is 6 6 plus 3.12 that is 9.12 so you get md is equal to 2.58 next at b that is full distance that is 16 meter so uh, b at uh, b uh, that is uh, sorry at b uh, moment is equal to 0 so once if it is uh, done then you can transfer these points to the diagram okay so what is for uh, a shear force at uh, A it is 0 left portion then at C it is minus 0 0.06 then at X minus 0.38 then right portion at X 0.62 then at D it is 0 0.31 then uh, bending moment uh, at A 0 um, at A 0 then at C uh, it is uh, 2.58 at C 2.58 at C 2.58 then at X it is 3.75 this is left portion then go to the right portion that is at X it is 3.75 then at D it is 2.58 and at B it is 0 once if it is done then you can calculate what is maximum uh, positive shear force negative shear force and uh, bending moment what is that maximum positive shear force is equal to intensity into A area of ILD covered by load. So, intensity in this problem it is 60 and area of the ILD covered by the load. So, first for positive shear force this is the area. So, again it is trapezoidal. So, what is that? Um, 0.62 plus 0.31 divided by 2 into this distance. What is the distance? That is 5. So, like this and multiplied by intensity that is 60. So, 60 into 0.62 plus 0.31 divided by 2 into 5 that is positive shear force. Negative shear force is again intensity to area of ILD covered by the load. So, you have to refer negative portion that is intensity is 60 into 0 0.06 plus 0 0.3 divided by 2 into this distance that is again 5 meter okay this is minus that's 4 therefore i have written minus minus 66 you get then maximum bending moment again intensity into area of ild covered by the load here there are two portions first consider this portion so um, intensity intensity is 60 that multiplied by first 2.58 plus 3.75 divided by 2 into this portion what is that portion 1.8 so um, that is equal to this plus then consider this portion 3.75 plus 2.58 divided by 2 into this distance what is this distance that is 3.12 uh, so into 3.12 that all multiplied by the intensity is equal to 949.5 kilonewton meter so in this way you can calculate positive shear force negative shear force and bending moment okay um, so, these are the uh, two, three examples I have given for both the cases, UDL longer than the span and UDL shorter than the span. Okay, thank you.